Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. Today I will be speaking about how to get international travel abroad. Mainly I will be focusing about guiding students and researcher. I myself has received multiple international awards uh, from USA, UK, Japan, Germany, and also supported by uh, Indian uh, scientific agencies for availing these international travel awards. So let's begin. So as I have mentioned, like I have done my PhD from GNU and while final summation of my PhD viva, I applied for various uh, poster presentations and workshops in different countries like USA, Germany, Switzerland. And I have been fortunate, I have got uh, four or five international travel award during that period. One of that uh, award which I got was from Immunological Society of Japan, and I have been invited there for giving my talk regarding my RNA aftermath project on which I have done my PhD work. So it was a novel technology which has multiple applications. So I have presented that work in Japan. And for that, I have been awarded this international award. Other than that, because I was working on RNA aftermaths and RNA biology, so I have also applied to various RNA society related workshops and uh, post presentation. So I have uh, another uh, another uh, international award which I have received from RNA Society of USA. I have also applied in European countries, Germany, Switzerland, and I have got ample support from there and got international award. And similarly, not only in my PhD, but when I went USA and uh, Japan for my postdoctoral job, during that period also, uh, I usually applied for all these uh, international talks and poster presentations, workshop, and try to avail all these awards uh, so that I can get international exposure, new technology exposure, workshops. I can deliver my work in various platforms also. So when I was doing my postdoc during that period, I also visited Cambridge University and I presented my aftermath work in uh, Cambridge University also. Similarly, uh, when I was a student, not only I received these international awards from USA, Japan, and Europe, uh, but I was also supported by Indian government and Indian scientific agencies like ICMR. Uh, and uh, in GNU also, they had supported me via DBT grant and uh, for international uh, travel support also they provide. So I have availed both those things. So ICMR has given me one lakh rupees to present my work. And uh, other than that, I think uh, 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 like this Japan, RNA Society, AMBL, ICMR, DBT, the other support like from IFREC when I was doing my postdoctoral job, IFREC has supported me with this Kismeto scholarships and my uh, other supervisor were having this NIH grant. So they have also supported me via that uh, travel grants for from their various uh, research support. Uh, so you can plan accordingly at what stages you are, either you are a student, scientist or faculty. They are both national and international agencies and bodies which regularly support various schemes and platforms and to students also, to scientists also and to faculties also. So a few fundamental points I wanted to emphasize here like uh, plan your trips, like when you have to start for applying these international travel award. Like if you are a student, don't wait that you are going to complete your project or your PhD and then you will apply. It's not like that because when we are going for any international poster presentation and workshops, our main uh, things are like what we are doing as a student also, if you are doing certain projects and if you have got a very great results, you just have to emphasize about your abstract, what you are doing, what is the significance of your project, what can be done out of that project, like the significance of that project. 
if you are a researcher and faculties, you might be having enough data and grant. So for you, things are a bit easier, but for at student level, don't think that when you will complete your PhD or when you complete your project, then only you can go. You can like, if you have decent amount of data, which you can show in your uh, significance part, you can easily grab these opportunities. Scopes, if we talk about why we should go to international travel um, platforms and why we avail these international travel awards, it is like they will provide you international exposure, many of platform, you will interact with the professors, the scientific communities, you will get your job offers at that platform. Like when I presented my work, I have got four postdoc offer during those uh, meetings and conferences. So it's a very good um, way to interact with scientific community. Similarly, don't wait for the completion of the project. If you have enough data, discuss with your mentor, discuss with your seniors, and try to make a precise and very effective communicative abstract and just send to the committee. And it's uh, sometimes these travel awards are competitive also. So, uh, and uh, along with this uh, abstract, do provide a very good CVs and recommendations from your mentor also. So, start well. Apply, don't wait only for one travel grant, uh, grant application. Apply at multiple platforms and multiple applications, okay? Look for, sometimes they will support you fully, sometimes they will support you partial. If you're getting a partial support from international travel grants, uh, either from USA, UK or Europe, you can still apply for the partial support from your universities in India also. And various scientific agencies are here also like CSIR, DBT, DST. I have already made one video. You can go and watch that thing. I have provided all the links of those bodies there. So you can get and avail these uh, support from there also. As I said, just visit that link also. There are, I think I have given you 10 or 11 uh, agencies, DBT, DST, D ICMR, they support uh, these tri travel grant also. So if you have got a partial support from international bodies, then you can get partial support from national bodies. And one more thing I wanted to emphasize here is joining a scientific society and membership is very important. Like as I, I was working on RNA aptamer and RNA related work. So I have joined RNA society, aptamer society. So they frequently publish these uh, travel grants and uh, awards, uh, workshops, details, and many a time to the developing countries, they have multiple other uh, support system also for young scientists also, women scientists also. So once you will join these scientific societies and membership, you will get all these right informations and right, uh, right information at right time. So you can wisely apply for these scholarships and workshops and can avail these grants also, okay? And as I said, because these things are competitive many a time, so a good CV and recommendations from your mentor will be required. Let me summarize few of the tips which has worked for me. I have always uh, uh, like try to make your effective abstract. As I said, don't wait for the completion of the project. It should be around 150 to 200 words. Tell what you have done, why you have done, what is the significance, what kind of new protocol or technology you might have, uh, uh, you might have performed the experimentation and all those things so that the uh, committee can understand what is the significance of your project. Because if you are applying at student level also, it's why it, it, they will see the technology and the significance, the basic uh, what kind of problem you are solving, uh, by which approach. So make an effective abstract first. Precisely uh, write your CV, cover letters, recommendation. Don't send uh, only abstract. Try to, uh, and don't send the journal emails. Just send your abstract with a very specific cover letters and CVs also. 
and timely application will be important because these things are competitive also <clears throat> take the advice of your seniors and uh, the supervisors also because many a time your seniors might have availed these travel grants so they can also give their feedback which can help you and yes one thing with me also this has happened because i got my rna society award for aptama projects i got icmr support one lakh rupees but that time i didn't had my passport so for applications of your visas will take time so before applying for these international travel grant make sure that you have your passport and you have applied for visa timely and yes, because if you are first time going to abroad also, then take the advantage of your seniors, your relatives, travel agents and immigration service. So plan your trip accordingly also, be safe also. And as you know, this is a COVID period time. So many times um, during this period, most of the workshops and post presentation is going in a digital and online platform, but very soon things will be normal again. So once you are really going for like uh, international trips and uh, you are planning all these things, be careful, uh, uh, make your things very smartly, plan uh, and manage things. Uh, smartly and logically and on time also and yes because not only getting these travel international travel award is important but going to such platform interacting with uh, good uh, scientific community and uh, professors is very important uh, interact with those scientific community grab the opportunities if you are a student get uh, and applying for postdoc utilize such platforms and if you, many a time these uh, things are competitive they select you for invited talk also from your post presentation and workshop so be prepared for that also and make uh, your ppts your presentation and talk in advance practice all those things because in many of these workshops and conferences almost like once I went to Japan, it was like around 6,000 scientists have participated there. So it is wise that you prepare everything in advance, practice and interact with your mentor and supervisors to get the feedback also. So from my side, these were few of the crucial points which I wanted to give you. So accordingly, you people can utilize these grants and can go for uh, international poster presentation workshop and utilize all these scientific platforms good luck from my side and if you have liked this video i will request you to kindly subscribe and share these things with your scientific endeavor thank you so much <laughs>